Silver, and Mike was feeling sad. His friends Oliver and Skiff just had left for their exciting journey around that they had been gone for nearly a week as of today. I really miss my friends. I just wonder when they will be back from their exciting journey. Mike was so upset he wasn't looking where he was going. And when he was, it was too late. Oh no, I've crashed. Can someone help me, please? Just then, Duck arrived. Beside him, he could see that Mike was feeling down and, and something. Oh dear, Mike. What happened here? And why are you feeling so glum? Well, I was too busy thinking about missing my friends so much that I wasn't looking where I was going and that's how I crashed here. Oh, I see. Well, don't worry. I'll go and get help for you. Oh, thank you, Duck. And Duck puffed away as he fetched Harvey at the docks. Oh my goodness, are you okay, Mike? Yes, I'm okay, Harvey. Can you get me back onto the tracks, please? Of course I can. And Harvey got to work. And soon, Mike was back on the track. There you go, Mike. Back on track. Thank you, Mike. No problem, Mike. Later that day, Mike decided to talk to the others about his problem. So, Mike, why are you feeling so glum? Well, it's because my friends left to do an important job, and they had to travel aboard fort and since then i've been missing them so much ever since they first left and left me here by myself i see now oh don't worry mike you still have us as your friends still Boko's right we will still be your friends though your close friends aren't here yes donnie but what are we gonna do when they come back from their long journey abroad? Hmm, I don't know. Suddenly, an idea flew into Brian's funnel. How about we do a welcome home party for them? What do you think of that? Yeah, I like the idea, Ryan. Okay, let's do it then. So Doc, Boko, and the other engines left to get the party surprise. Duck was going banners and bumpers. Boko was bringing the balloons. Ryan was bringing guests. Well, Skip, what should we do for our long trip? Why don't we just go to the seaside to relax our wheels off? Okay, then. They were just about to leave the dock when Thomas pulled up next to them. His trucks were filled with colorful 
presents. Hey there, Thomas. Uh, what's with the presents in your trucks? Well, me and the others are doing a welcome home party for you, Skiff. A party for us! Wow, that's very kind of you, Thomas. And by the way, where is the party head at? Well, we're having the party at NAP for tonight. Well, count us in! And we will see you there tonight, Thomas, for the party. Okay, see you there. Night. The welcome party was about to start. And all the engines, including Mike, were ready and waiting for the special guest to arrive. This is so exciting. I know, right? I can't believe it's been over a week since your friends have been away on their trip abroad. I mean, that's got to be hard for you, Mike. I know, Ryan. But I'm glad that they're back. And now we are throwing a welcome home party for them. Everyone, be quiet. I think I heard something. Oh, it's them, everyone. Be ready. Welcome home, my dear friends. Oh, thank you, guys. This is the best welcome home party ever. Thank you so much for arranging this welcome home party for us, Mike. It was my pleasure, Oliver. Mike was pleased to be back. Mike was to be to be back with his close friends, and remembered that being close friends is always important. Whenever you fall out with each other, or they have to be on a special trip in the nearby future. What? I can't believe I wasn't invited to the dumb party. Oh, what a waste of time that was for me.